uh, it's hard to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> he was 12. And he was in a rock band in L.A. And the other 12-year-olds kicked him out because he was too outrageous. <laughs> Joey and I just couldn't understand why. They thought that. Right? <laughs> My daughter, Audrey, is here, and she, she's sitting back there by the bar. <laughs> and she came with me to New York in order to carry my guitar uh, through the airports and, uh, and through New York. And I swear to you, uh, I couldn't have done it without it. There's no way I can carry that, this guitar in a case anymore. I'm, I'm beyond that now. You know that, Joy? I'm, I'm not lonely. I'm not lone. I'm not, I'm not young like I used to be. Yes, you are. Thank you, Joy. Can you get that special light I was talking about? Just give Gary that light, please. Not the next time I've that spotlight. Who's the best in good care of that spotlight? Thank you, John. You know, I used to say the same thing when he performed at the Groundlings. Give that boy the light. <laughs> she grew up without me, and I guess I'm sort of glad that I didn't have to be there for the rough time she had. How I could have fought her fights and held her when she cried and scared away the nightmares. The way at least I could have tried. How old are you now? What grade are you in? How tall are you getting to be? Do you kiss the boys? Smile at the men. Do you tell your friends about me? Well, I wish I could have dressed her up for going trick or treat and heard her say on Christmas Eve, Daddy, I can't sleep. My birthday's meant a phone call. Happy birthday. How are you? They're good. Party Dad and a Disney movie too. How old are you now? What grade are you in? How tall are you getting to be? Do you kiss the boys and smile at the men? Do you tell Seems to me that sometimes life works in reverse. What's supposed to happen later on, somehow at this first. Gonna be a grandpa before I was a dad, and she is gonna be mom. Austin. Yeah. 
Gary Austin. 